Hello everyone, welcome to another cast of Game of Age of Empires 4. My name is Hiawata, you're on youtube.com slash a whole bunch of random letters and numbers and today I got a great game for you between Marine Lord spawning oh, over here in the north uh, west corner of Confluence versus, or the noob rather, um, versus Hera spawning in the, uh, the wow, southeast eastern corner I guess of the map. Um, Hera is playing the, uh, who's Hera playing? Hera's playing the Mongols and we have the Delhi Sultanate being played by Marine Lord. So uh, I'm interested to see how this game works out. I'm going to move my camera over a little bit because it is just not in a good spot at all whatsoever. And there's a corner of the map for you to take a look at. Um, let's take a look at the bases of our players while we're hanging out and waiting here for some action to get started. Uh, Marine Lord um, with a nice back stone, easily defensible. Um, a nice forward gold, which is actually not very defensible. He's got a, a gap right here that's going to be exploitable by his opponents. So you're going to want to wall up very early. Opting to go for a quick dock to get his fishing economy booming right at the start of the game. Um, booming all his on the wood. Take a look at Hera's base, however. Hera, um, has he even seen his gold? Oh, it's right there. Hera's got a great gold. Oh my god. It's like super well defended. Right in the back of the base here. Um, we don't see his stone yet. I don't think he's actually scouted it. But his stone's over here, which is pretty far away from his town center. But that's okay. Because who needs to be close to the stone when you're going to place an Uvu and just drop your uh, military buildings around there? Um, early into the game, you see that uh, Marine Lord's gone for a lot of control of the uh, the sheep on the map. And we have we have Hera over here to start and get harassed on the dock. Both players opting for docks right away. Um, on the hybrid map like this, getting uh, fishing started is really important because you want to make sure that you're able to um, boom your, your food economy quickly and easily. Uh, I, at, a, at a low level, like where, where the elo that I play at, the 1000 elo range, um, it's not actually going to do all that much for us um, because it's uh, it's not a super... Like, people don't know how to play water at low elo. At high elo, they do. So, it's uh, it's not, not my experience where too much water uh, gameplay happens, but these guys are going to pass in the night here. The con is a scout that can essentially um, shoot while moving, and so can every other... Um, Oh wow, this is a really aggressive play coming from uh, from from Hera right here. I'm gonna try to take out some of the sheep from uh, Marine Lord, so he's not able to get the full value of his food back at his base. That's really kind of toxic, actually, um, but in the best way possible. That's hilarious! Oh my god. Also, shout out to Twitch chat right now. Uh, this is the first uh, Age of Empires 4 professional game I'm casting live on Twitch. Um, so if you're not following me on Twitch already, make sure to go follow there. Um, for every Thursday, I'm live at 1 p.m. Eastern. Ooh, okay, we're getting a lot uh, uh, aggressive forward dock coming on the other side of the water from Marine Lord. Does Hera see this? Does he see this? Hang on. He does see that. Okay. So he knows he needs to get a tower up to defend his ships right away. Otherwise, uh, he is going to get absolutely decimated um, by some potential aggression. Delhi have a very unique uh, fishing ship. Their fishing ships can actually shoot. He has no fishing ships out yet, actually. Interesting. Okay. Um, but the Oh, he does. He's sending them all in. There's, this is what I'm talking about. So the Delhi have fishing ships that can shoot arrows. They're the only fishing ship in the game that can attack their opponents. So uh, he's going for just straight uh, aggression on water to control of that part of the map. Because then he can control the choke points right here. Uh, he's going up for a forward wall as well. Is he sending a vill over for that? What's happening there? Does he have a uh, barracks yet? No, he does not. Okay. So he's sending a vill forward right there who built the dock to put up a wall. So that Hera isn't able to push out of his base further. And um, these fishing ships are going to get some nice picks on these docks, or on these fishing ships over here, rather, because there's nothing they can do about it. All they can do is go inside the dock and hide. But this uh, this outpost is going to do a good job of defending um, for at least a little while until the next age happens. Uh, let's take a look at what Hera is seeing on the map right now. He's kind of cut off. His scout did come home. Or his con... Wait, did he lose his con? I think he did. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. So he lost his con, which does eventually respawn at the town center um, after a set amount of time. So these sheep are just going to wander on over slowly, whereas the sheep from uh, Marine Lord are chilling in the wrong spot, honestly. They're at the wood line when they should be at the town center. But we have some more engagements going. Oh, there's the con. Okay, maybe he didn't die. Maybe he was just uh, having a nap or something. But the con's not able to do enough damage to really stop this wall from going up at this point. So it's going to be uh, a nice controlled area for uh for marine lord and hera often go up with the deer stones always the right call, call on mongols because when you play the mongols you want that speed bonus going for the silver tree or whatever it's called for the market bonus just doesn't make much sense on a map like this um the trade post is so far away it's right in the middle of the map there's so it's like easily contested you're not gonna be able to control that very easily at all especially if you don't opt for the right landmark early to get control of the map 
Take a look at Marine Lord. Marine Lord is still not opting to age up just yet. Looks like he's just going to go heavy onto some Dark Age aggression. Um, getting even more fishing boats out to get some more aggression off. Um, did he go for some upgrades on his fishing boats? Yeah, so he went for he went for the sails upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. So his fishing boats are going to move faster than uh, than those of Hera. And a little bit of a fight going on down here somewhere between the Scout and the Khan again. Um, nothing uh, too crazy going on there. Take a look back up in the corner here. More uh, villagers being stationed in this outpost in order to try to uh, do some more damage against the fishing ships and quell that aggression. Um, Hera currently only has five units on food because he has to keep pulling them off. And actually, all five of his uh, food gathering units are these boats. So when they get picked by the fishing boats of his opponent, Marine Lord, it is not going to be a pretty sight at all. He has no food economy going under his base right now. I mean, he's has it right there readily available to him, but it doesn't make sense to go for it necessarily. It might make sense soon, though, to do it. Uh, looks like Marine Lord's also walling up the center of the map as well to keep control there, too. Getting this fish economy booming back at his base um, on his first dock that he put up there. He's got 17 villagers on food versus the, again, 5 of Hera. So not too much going on here. Take a look at income per minute. Marine Lord absolutely destroying Hera right now. This aggression is really, really cool to see. I really like this play coming out, but uh, now that um, Hera has aged up to the next age, he's going to be able to get um, some light junk ships, which are an attack fish, uh, attack ship. So that is going to cause some issues for that aggression. Uh, it would be easily able to take out any uh, anything coming out from the deli with these uh, arrows on these fishing ships. So he's just going to chill and not do too much about it. He's going to pull off and gather some food because he's already done enough economic damage by idling the fishing boat production already. Take a look back at the base. We got... Um, we got our mosque there with our uh, our scholar hanging out, chilling inside it. Oopsies. And then we're going up with the Dome of Faith, which allows you to produce scholars at 50% less of a cost. For those of you unacquainted with the Delhi Sultanate, the Delhi Sultanate um, have a unique mechanic where they can uh, build scholars who go inside of these buildings here, these mosques. And by doing so, it actually allows them to research uh, m technology more quickly. Uh, their technology does not cost any resources whatsoever. He's really trying to get that pick on that villager so the wall doesn't go up. I mean, it's a smart play, but it's uh, not going to work out too well. Especially when this fishing boat comes in and tries to get aggression on the con as well. He's going to need to run away from that right now. Or else he might lose his con. Got to put some distance between you and that fishing boat. This one's coming over too in case you come along the shoreline. Um, so both players are uh, basically in the feudal age now. With the uh, advantage still going in favor of Marine Lord Hera. Uh, having more gold economy right now with 7 on gold versus the 3 of Marine Lord. But Marine Lord, uh, like I mentioned, is going to be able to get all of his economic upgrades uh, for free. He doesn't have to pay for them. So that's quite a, uh, a useful mechanic for them. Um, so no resources costing there means that he's able to have less villagers on gold. And not have to spend that gold to get those upgrades right away. Khan is dangerously low health, but so too is the scout now. This aggression's uh, not really aggression, but this uh, interaction is getting a little uh, a little close here. But Hera knowing not to pull too close to these fishing ships or else he will get piled up on. Let's see if Marine Lord makes a play here. Is he going to pull them in? Not yet. Okay. Now, the point of this wall, let's talk about this wall for a second. The point of this wall right here is to stop any boats from coming across the channel there. So the wall spans the whole width and length. Not the width, just the length of the uh, of the river. So now any fishing boats from Hera won't be able to get across very easily, which makes for a very uh, a very safe place and safe time on the map until later in the game. Let's get out of this. Uh, I think it's is it Control Y. Oh, okay. Either way, let's go spin it back over to our north orientation. It looks like Hera is already ready to age up to the castle age, opting for a fast castle here, getting the step red out, which allows for 50% uh, more gold when villagers drop off the resources, the gold resources rather, at this uh, this building. Hera getting more on the food. He's got 16 on food versus the 24 on food of uh, of Marine Lords. Marine Lord quite a ways ahead in regards to his resource income. Um, we got a lot more villagers on wood as well, 15 versus 9. Um, he's just really ahead by quite a bit because of this style of uh, play that he went for. He really wanted to assert that map control and keep Hera locked in on his side of the map, which is very, very smart. Take a look down here. We got a second dock that's come up for Hera. Um, Going to produce likely some fishing ships from there soon. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen any light junks come out yet. Um, no real military coming out for either player just yet. Um, Hera almost at the next stage already. And take a look over yonder. Um, is a Marine Lord aging up now? No, he's still just putting up another Moss to get his research a little bit faster. Um, doesn't have his Blacksmith just yet. 
and still only sitting on the uh, the two docks. This dock idol doing nothing. So that's the one um, downfall of a play like this is that you have a whole dock that doesn't really do too much for you, and instead it's just going to be chilling and doing nothing. Just giving you, I guess, vision in that area is the only thing you really get out of it. Let's take a look what he sees, and he sees that there's no uh, junks coming out, so he knows that there's no water aggression coming his way at all. He's already taken steps to prevent against it either way with this wall, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and he's got a second dock there too, and now walling off the forward part of his base to, in order to keep Hera out even further. Scout looking around, seeing uh, what Hera might be going for. Uh, Hera looking to go uh, some kind of uh, horseman build, potentially uh, Lancers or early horsemen. Now, the uh, unique factor that the Mongols have going for them is that, okay, it's going for Lancers for sure now, is that you're able to do double production when you have a, uh, a building on top of an Uvu's range of influence. So this is the Uvu's range of influence here. Um, well, actually, you can't see it because we're on spectator mode, but it's like a little rectangular square thing over yonder. And essentially, it costs stone to produce a double of a unit. So the same normal resources. So 140 food, 100 gold, and then 240 stone versus just 140 food and 100, 100 gold to make this one. So um, as a civilization that does not make any um, any stone buildings whatsoever, like they don't use stone for walls, they can't make walls. I don't think they can make keeps even, can they? No, they can't make keeps. Um, so there's... Uh, no, it's a good, a, good, a good use for this stone here. They really let them actually uh, be able to do something. Now, take a look at Marine Lord. Marine Lord has aged up as well. He's gone with the House of Learning to get some potential unique technologies coming up and opt in to go for some stables of his own to counter the Lancers. Uh, I don't think he's actually seen the Lancers come out just yet. Uh, we have the War Drunks coming out now for Hera, trying to take out this early dock. Um, opting for a demo ship. This demo ship's going to come out do a whole bunch of damage to the economy of Hera. Oh my god! Look at that demo. I'm surprised Hera wasn't thinking about that maybe coming out here. That's three fishing ships down, and that war junk took so much damage. Was there another war junk that was there that died? I think there was. So there's a war junk that died as well. Uh, I hear uh, a relic getting picked up somewhere along the map. Looks like the scholar is going out for the relic. Um, Khan trying to deny it, but not able to do too much because these villagers are inside this outpost. Going to do a lot of damage there. And uh, Marine Lord playing this game just expertly, getting value still out of that dock, saying, hey, I'm going to ruin your food economy here. Hera now down to 18 food gathering units versus the 27 of Marine Lord. That's so many more. Oh my god. Let's take a look. Anything else coming out right now? We still just got Lancers coming out. Where are they going? Are they just kind of massing up? Are they over here? No. But more, uh, more relics trying to be captured for Marine Lord. Hera needs to respond soon and maybe capture some relics of his own. Um, he went up with the step, which I believe his other option would have been the um, would have been the prayer tent, or is that a uh, imperial landmark? Either way, regardless, he needs to get some relics now, or else the uh, gold generation these grants are is going to be a little too much to handle. Um, Marine Lord with 17 units producing gold, as well as the one relic he already has in here, which grants how much does that relic grant? I forgot. I think it's like 100 gold a minute, if I'm not mistaken. Um, versus the 17 on gold for Hera, but this these two relics are going to make all the difference here when it comes to gold generation per minute. A um, bit of an engagement in the middle of the map here with some wolves um, for Hera. Um, nothing too crazy going on there, honestly. Lancers coming out as well for um, for Marine Lord, and is uh, is Hera going to see these Lancers coming out? Because I'm pretty sure that Marine Lord has scouted the Lancers of Hera. Take a look at the military count right now. We have 17 military units versus the 41 of Marine Lord. Where are all these military units from Marine Lord? I have no idea. Are they all at his base? Does he have like a whole bunch of... What's going on with that? I want to know where these military units are. He's got more... Oh, that's why. Because he's sending them across the map. Okay. He's getting ready to push out, push into his enemy's base. These are his walls, so we can just delete them and push through. Take a look at the entire map here. Where's Hera at with his uh, Lancers right now? Looks like Hera's Lancers are... Nowhere to be found. Oh, they're over here. Hera's Lancer is going to push, try to get some harass done on the base of his opponent in just a moment here. I'm um, not going to be able to do too much. He's going to have to pull these back because on the other side of the map right now, um, we have some control being taken of the Sacred Site, which grants gold generation and also acts as a victory condition if both Sacred Sites are captured. You have one right here in the middle and one here on the other edge of the map. Hera coming in uh, to try to get some uh, harass done, but a war elephant coming out for Marine Lord. Uh, very, very strong, powerful unit. Takes a long time to kill that guy for sure. Uh, great sieging buildings as well. There's not going to be too much that Hera can really do here right now. He's pushing out with his uh, his war junks. And what response do we have from um, from Marine Lord? We got some demolitions 
coming out with some explosive DAOs. They're going to need quite a bit of damage once they get up there. These fishing boats are trying to keep them away for now. Mixing some DAOs with those fishing boats. Getting a pick on the war junk. What a crazy play for Marine Lord. That was absolutely ridiculous. And take a look over here. We got some units uh, who've been entering into an engagement here. Some Lancer versus Lancer action. Um, this Scholar going to go out and try to get another uh, another relic for his team. And these Lancers by Hera are going to have to pull back. There's, uh, there's nothing that he can really do. Marine Lord, with all the momentum here, uh, Hera really has to make something happen if he wants to uh, come back and win this game. Take a look at the income per minute still. Marine Lord is so much more ahead in gold generation and food. Very similar in, uh, in wood. But it looks like uh, Marine Lord has opted to stick to this one TC for now. Not going for his stone just yet. Um, so no keeps coming up anytime soon. This explosive Dao looks like got another pick as well. So another ship went down. Um, and he's just going to keep putting out the explosive Dao's because in this choke point, unless you have like a whole bunch of units here that can really hold it, there's not going to be too much you can really do. You know, like you have to get a lot of damage done on those explosive Dao's to really get anything done. Take a look at Hera's base for a moment here. Do we have anything else coming up here? We're still on just the one military production building. Our Uvu is depleted. So this is going to need to move somewhere else in order for it to um, be put up and generate two times the production again. We have an archer range here. We're going for some crossbows to try to take out the uh, lancers. Um, those are a counter to armored units. So it is a good call. Uh, we have a little bit of engagement here still coming across the map. At the same time, some more uh, push coming through the front with that wall being deleted right before we got to see it. And um, Marine, this is Marine Lord's game to lose. I don't think there's really an opportunity for uh, Marine Lord to lose this one. Oh, whoa, depleted. Oh, my God. Going for a conversion here actually could have been the right call with the Shaman if you're able to surround it with your units and really get them protected. But instead, losing that relic. And uh, now, all the momentum is in Marine Lord's favor. There's nothing that Hera can really do here to stop this. Villager's getting pulled off. Going to go into the town center as best they can. Um, try to get up uh, another archery range and get those crossbows going. Because those crossbows do counter the armored units of the Lancers. But um, it's very likely that he already has the upgrades for them. Let's take a look at his base real quick. Do we have... If we do already have, like, our... Um, we have all three of our uh, of our ranged armor upgrades. So the, the crossbows, while they'll still do a decent amount of damage, they're not going to do a whole lot at the end of the day. Um, take a look at the income per minute now. Because of Hera's idle time, there is just... There's 44 villagers on wood. Okay, so all of Hera's villagers are over here on wood, gathering some uh, some wood to help produce more uh, buildings, more units, more crossbows. Um, but nothing gathering food, really, and gold. He's got a lot of it in the bank, but he's got to use it up to be able to do anything with it. Um, 40 on food for uh, for Marine Lord, and he's just going to be able to take th this game from here. I don't see it uh, going the other way. A push coming in from the front with a whole bunch of Lancers. From the back, we got Lancers and one War Elephant producing some more units at home already. Lots of Lancers being pumped out constantly. Um, the water's been lost as well. Uh, the bag luck coming out for the Delhi. Uh, some more explosive dials keeping control, keeping zoning on the water. These crossbows are going to try to do something, but they're not going to be able to do much. Villager's going to go down Welcome super easy. To the chat. Welcome to the chat room, Maywanda. I hope you're well. Nice to see you. Welcome to the channel. First time viewer, you're very welcome to be here. Um, you're just in time to watch Marine Lord and, uh, and Hera have this game come to a close. Looks like Marine Lord's about to wrap it up. That is likely going to be GG's, my friends. I don't see this going anywhere else today. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to subscribe for more Age of Empires content. I post every Wednesday and every Saturday. Um, and sometimes even two uploads a week or a day. Who knows? Um, that is GG from Hera. Marine Lord taking this one with relative ease. This is why water control is so important with Adele. You're able to do so much more. And those walls, those walls did so much for Marine Lord, keeping Hera out of the middle of the map and not allowing him to, uh, to hit the, uh, to get control. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace out.